Hi, this is Kevin Quinn, and we're going to take a look at how we create the Yearly Product Metrics Excel Report, which is located in the Retail Samples domain under the Reports folder, and it's called Yearly Product Metrics. Let me show you the spreadsheet. This is actually a report created in Web Focus Info Assist Plus. So as you can see, it's a spreadsheet uh, styled nicely here. It actually has some of the measures from our WF Retail Samples data, the uh, cost of goods sold, gross profit, and, and, and profit margin actually is a, a ratio that's calculated. And you'll notice that anything that's calculated, like for example, the ratio here or the margin uh, or the subtotals are all calculations in the Excel spreadsheet. Also notice that the spreadsheet actually has tabs going across the bottom representing each year and finally a total page which also have calculations across these separate tabs. So this is a very special thing that uh, InfoAssist Plus does to create fully formatted Excel spreadsheets with uh, summations and calculations. So let's take a look at how this is created from scratch. So here I am in InfoAssist Plus. I've selected to create a report uh, from the WF Retail Lite data set. As you can see, it's mentioned up here on the top of the uh, field area. So let's very quickly start off by saying we don't want an HTML output report. We're going to select the down arrow there next to the format. We'll go down to the Excel formats, and one of them is actually an Excel XLSX file with formulas generated. So you, we'll select that one as the output format. Now let's select the things that we're going to measure on this report. We'll do cost of goods sold and gross profit. Then we'll do a calculation that's based on these. So we're going to go to the data tab and select to compute. And this is going to do it on the aggregate of these things within the group that uh, they are summed by. So to do a calculation on the aggregate, you use a compute. So for this, let's call it profit margin. And profit margin is actually the gross profit divided by the cost of goods sold. And we'll put parentheses around this because we're going to multiply this by 100 to get the ratio that we want. Actually, in this case, well, let's not actually multiply it by 100. Let's just leave it as a, a ratio, which would be, in many cases, less than uh, the value of 1. We'll select OK. And you'll see that profit margin appears in here. And it's actually calculated based on this total summation of these two fields. But it will be changed uh, with each additional grouping that I add to the report. So we want to add things to the report, like, for example, the year. Year is under the transaction date and we'll add that to our buy group. And we'll add the two highest levels of the product dimension, which is the product category, after that. And then the product subcategory, which we'll add right below product category. And you can see how it created. And now you can see the ratios changing for each level of this aggregate. The next thing we want to do is go to the product category column and we're going to select that and we're going to select to do a subtotal but what we want to do is recompute anything that's a calculation so you can see that the this now is not uh, adding up these values but actually recalculating them based on the total of cost of goods and profit uh, subtotal for accessories the next thing that we want to do is actually uh, add to this a theme a styled theme so we're going to go back here to the Home tab and select Theme. And we're going to scroll down to the green themes. And we're going to use the Light 2 theme. And you see that applied to the report here. Finally, for this spreadsheet, what we want to do is create the tabs. To create the tabs, it's actually called a table of contents. So we'll select that column, the year column, as you can see here. We'll go to the Format tab and select the option to do Table of Contents. The final piece of the puzzle here is actually to get our, our final total page in our spreadsheet. So what we want to do there is a column total. And we want that column total to remain as a recompute, so it does a recalculation of that field uh, at the end of the spreadsheet. So, so there we have it. We've actually created a spreadsheet. You haven't seen it yet because I haven't run the report, but let's run this now. 
and you'll see that down on the bottom left here the spreadsheet is created I'll select to open it and here is the final spreadsheet that we created with our tabs on the bottom for each of the different areas as well as a calculation for each and a final total page that shows me the total cost of goods and profit and profit margin with the calculations across all of the other uh, tabs of the spreadsheet.